Welcome back to the fifth wheel. Here's what it's all about. Michael owned the 15-minute room. He got tasty with Yolanda, tonguey with Karen, and cuddly with Anna Maria. David tried worming his way back into Anna Maria's good graces, or at least her blouse. And gals, if you're gonna wear white pants, here's what you're shooting for. Now the bus is pulling off the Penicillin Parkway. It's deciding time. I had a wonderful time with all three of you. However, two of you had a very hard time having a conversation with. That's why I picked Anna Marie. I picked Anna Maria because she was hot, she was fun, and out of all three girls, she was definitely the most interesting. I had an extraordinary evening with all three of you tonight. You were all wonderful. The person who I thought I'd like the least in the beginning is the one I ended up liking the most. It's Karen. The fifth wheel gave me some delightful little pecks on the cheek, but Karen stole the show. I had a great time with both of you guys tonight, but integrity is very important to me. One of you guys had it, and one of you guys didn't. So I picked Michael. At first, I didn't like Michael. As I got to know him more, I thought he was cute. He's a good kisser. I think we could have fun together. I had a great time with both of you guys, but I don't like men who get around, and integrity remains to be seen. So I choose you. I picked David because I found out that Michael was playing all three girls, and I'm not about to be played. I had to pick between a sleazeball and a player. I'm pissed that I kissed Michael, now that I know he had to kiss everyone else. So I'm very happy that I'm going home alone. That's it for the fifth wheel, where strangers become lovers and lovers become bitter suicidal exes, all on the same show. See you next time.